Welcome to Local Presence, the podcast bringing the smiles back to Tendry. Local Presence is hosted by Ollie Baines and Joe Webster. Local Presence is a community podcast looking to share good news in the Tendring area, incorporating fun, laughter and discussion. And here is what's coming up in today's podcast. We give a roundup of the local news. We'll bring you a social media update. We're going to be chatting to a member of our local community via the mobile phone. We're going to be talking about some upcoming events. We're going to bring you today's competitions and challenges. And a did you know about the tendering area. But first, here's a roundup of the local news. Clacton schools are improving. In a recent article by the Gazette, it was revealed that schools in Clacton are on the up. Results from last year showed the number of schools rated good or outstanding by Ofsted had risen from 49% in 2012-2013 to 54% this year. Primary schools results have also leapt up from 61% in 2012 to 73% in 2015. Fantastic work by the schools in Clacton. That's good. Uh, at least 200 residents of Kerbula Soken flocked to the Village Hall on Saturday for a community coffee morning which showcased results from a village survey. The survey went out to households last year and was designed to gauge opinion on a range of issues within Kirby, from local services and traffic and transport to the environment. The results from the survey are being written into a report which will become the Village Plan. Uh, Great Holland conducted and published a similar one back in 2010. Local musician Joe Boyd has released his third album this week. Local Presence had the great pleasure of interviewing Joe on Friday ahead of the release. You can check out that interview on our Facebook and Twitter pages and our, and our SoundCloud page as well. His new record is called I Survive I and is available to purchase on iTunes and Rough Trade from today. Why not listen to the interview and give his album a listen? Uh, we reported on the Winter Warmers project over at Clapton in a previous podcast, but from this Wednesday, the 4th of Feb, you can find the initiative in its next venue, which is over in Harwich. Uh, the pop-up shop will operate in a former cash office building in Waddison Road, Dover Court. Uh, the project offers quality clothing and bedding to vulnerable residents in need of who are in need, <laughs> free of charge. And uh, you can find out more information on the Tendering District Council website and learn how you can donate as well there. And finally, Friends and Free Church has got a new set of sliding doors. Locals will be astounded by the quick and dramatic transformation of the main entrance, which has modernised the exterior of the church. Mm. It will be interesting to see what the locals make of the latest edition. Yeah. Personally, I quite like them. Do you? Yeah, I think they're quite nice. Mm. Got to keep up with the times, haven't you, Jay? Yeah, and let the light in. Absolutely. <laughs> it's good, I think people can kind of see in and it's a bit more... I, I like the old doors, but I think it's a bit more welcoming now, so good. It's cool. <clears throat> it's time for a social media watch. Uh, we've got a post from F- Frintonian Ben Hughes Day on Facebook. Uh, it's a long post, but it's a good one, so listen. It is good. Uh, he says, Just dropped £20 on the floor, and some hooded youth ran up to me and said, Excuse me, you just dropped this. So refreshing to see true, honest people. Also, another point proving never to judge a book by its cover. You probably read this thinking hooded youth had done something wrong. Bad. <laughs> nope. Just a bit of good news. Love honest and trustworthy people. And he finishes with... (laughs) (laughs) Are you actually going to say this? You are. Okay. (laughs) What a top banana. He doesn't doesn't say it like that, but I think that's how he should say it. See, I was reading that (laughs) Poipa. Poipa top banana. I think he means Poipa top banana. (laughs) I think you've got the pronunciation. Oh, it's it's a good story, wasn't it, Ben? Thanks for sharing. Always good to have some good news. Our good friend at Local Presence, Simon Carter has had one of his watercolour paintings selected for a competition by the Royal Watercolour Society. Simon tweeted a photo of his painting, and he's hoping that Mr Carter will bring home the award. Indeed. OK, um, have you seen or heard of the Tendering Youth Network? No, have you? never heard of it. OK, well, it's a website designed for the use of young people in our district. It's the place to find information and opportunities for young people. Sounds good, but do they have a social media page? Yeah, they're on both Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can find them at Tendering Youth. Uh, and you can also check out the website direct. Um, it's tenderingyouthnetwork.co.uk. What do they actually do? Well, they showcase information on events for young people, um, education, 
uh, career advice, apprenticeships, and they also promote a range of support services for young people in the area. So, yeah, well worth a look if you're a young person in our community. Sounds Absolutely. Like, sounds like something great. And finally, would you like to send in a personal message or greetings to someone via local presence? <laughs> then let us know and we will deliver your message via our podcast. With Valentine's Day coming up, we are expecting to be inundated with love messages <laughs> to be sent out across the tendering area, aren't we, Joe? Yeah, absolutely. We're expected to be inundated personally, but we're also <laughs> thinking it'd be nice to spread some out, spread the love absolutely. out to the community. So send us a message. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so here we go, on to one of my favourite features at Local Presence. It's time to phone a friend, Joe. Brilliant. So this week we're hoping to get on the line Tom Green. Uh, he's moved about the area a bit, hasn't he? He has. He's, They've moved recently. Yeah, and he's down that fried tuning now. Yeah. Clinton. And um, works in Beaumont. He does, mm-hmm. he does. So let's get him on the line Come and on, ask Tom. him a few local questions. He's on speaker. Here we go. Hello? Hi, is this Joe? Yeah, hi Tom, it's Joe here, Joe and Ollie. How are you, right? Y- yeah, we're good, thanks, yeah. Tommy? You're um, on our local presence podcast at this moment, is that okay? Oh. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, we're very excited to have you as our phone a friend. Uh, we want to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Yeah, go for it. Uh, first of all, have you got any good news to share with local presence? Uh, any good news? Good, I suppose. Good news, you like the Super Bowl? Hey. You like the Super Bowl? Yeah, it's good, good fun. Cool. Good Thanks. Uh, we're now going to give you a quick fire round to give you some options to choose from. Ollie's going to present you with some questions and uh, we'll score you at the end. All right. Okay, great. Okay, Tom, are you ready? Yeah. Australia or New Zealand? Australia. Action films or Frozen? Action films. Really? Ooh, Tom. You surprise us. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox One or PS4? PS4. Sandwiches or baguettes? Baguette. Rugby or fitness? Rugby. Ooh. Laptop or iPad? iPad. Bath or shower? Sorry? A bath or a shower? Uh, shower. Ooh. Even if it had luxury soaps and salts. <laughs> Even if it had luxury soaps and salts. Like, like Chana in Friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a boat. Yeah. <laughs> a ship. <laughs> um, Twitter or Facebook? Uh, Facebook. Dancing or singing? Singing. <laughs> in the shower or... <laughs> yeah. Um, and final one, Tom. Local or presence? Presence. Ah, oh, good choice. Let's yeah. just top those T- up. Tally up the scores. Um, what I should have said is we shouldn't score because there's no right or wrong answers on your opinions, but we did. We do score, so... And you got two right, Tom. Two right. Uh, How do you feel? How do I feel? Yep. Um, good, thank you. Yep. Good. 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 <laughs> he's happy, he's happy with that. And um, final question from us, Tom, before um, we let you go is, do you have anything you'd like to share with local presence listeners? Uh... I don't. I feel bad. No, don't worry. Or have you, have you? What's your favourite thing about the tendering area? That's a good question. The beach. Oh, the beach. Nice. Good. Like that. Tom, thanks for chatting to us at Local Presence. We really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. No cool. See you no soon. Worries. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye. Ah, oh, that was good. Good. good I'm really Tom. glad that happened. Yeah. Good old Tom. Appreciate that. Excellent. He called back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving on to the events. Okay, so there's a community project called Teen Talk, and they're hosting a jobs and skills fair in Harwich. Now, Teen Talk is a confidential drop in centre for all 11 to 25 year olds in Harwich and Tendring, and it's open from 2 to 5 pm every Monday and Friday. Every Monday to Friday, I should say. And uh, if you're interested in career advice, then why not check out this jobs fair on Friday the 6th of Feb. Uh, it's from 9 till 3 at the Adult Community Learning College on Main Road, Harwich. Excellent. 
Right, everyone, clear your diaries because we have a great event coming up on the 14th of Feb and it's not Valentine's Day. Well, it is Valentine's Day. It is, but it's not for us. Local (laughs) Presents are holding an informal presentation open to absolutely anyone to come and learn more about our community venture. It's going to be great. It's going to be loads of fun and it's from 6.30 till 8pm at Frinton Free Church on the 14th of Feb. You're so welcome to come and join us. It's going to be a great community atmosphere. Plus, there will be love hearts yeah. served as a welcome. <laughs> it's going to be, be, be really good. Bring people. Um, and, yeah, finally, there's an NHS local health forum in Clapton this Tuesday. It's going to be at Clapton Voluntary Services Centre on Rosemary Road from 2 to 4pm. The forum's open to anyone who's interested and there's a chance to ask questions and hear from a senior manager at Colchester Hospital. For more info on that, go to the Tenure District Council website. Uh, it's on the What's On page. Moving on to our competitions and challenges section. Last week, we posted up a competition or a challenge or both. <laughs> a challenge! And it was a caption contest challenge. Uh, we posted up a picture of myself and Joe McDonald, and we asked you to post up uh, the best captions. And we had lots of responses, mm. lots of good responses. Mm. But our eventual winner was Ryan Forecast. Well done, Ryan. And his winning caption was, "And welcome everyone to season two of the Undateables." And I thought that was pretty good. Mm. I don't know what to make of that. I don't watch do the program. And <laughs> <laughs> um, it doesn't hold us in. With such high regard, but it's it's good. I thought it was a, a very witty comment. So mm. well done, Ryan. Here's your mention. It's just happened. There it was. It's yeah, gone. It's done. It's gone. And it's but you can replay it and replay it on our SoundCloud. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And you'll also be getting a signed piece of paper from Local Presence. Oof. So that was last week's competition. Mm-hmm. This week's competition, Joe. Yeah, this week is a different challenge to the ones that we've done in the past. We're asking you to share one of your favourite Local Presence podcasts. Mm. So we're going to be keeping an eye out on social media for you sharing your favourite podcasts on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll be rewarding a winner in our next one. Uh, it's all part of us reaching out to more people in the tendering area via your social media pages. <laughs> so please do enter the competition by sharing. Just pick either a f- your favourite interview that we've done so far or your favourite Good News podcast and share it with your friends. Absolutely. Be Get good. Involved. Okay, we're moving on to our Did You Know? Oliver. Yes, Joseph. Well, last week you posted quite a good did you know, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a tough one to beat. I agree. But I think I might have got one. Okay, ready? Mm. Did you know Manningtree is said to be the UK's smallest town at just over 19 hectares? <laughs> Bam. Well, no, I didn't know that, so that's success. It is a success. Do you think it's better than your I've one? Learnt. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what, if there's really like a metric to grade if it's better or not. No, but I think it's a good, it's a good it's one. Good. Solid, it's interesting. I, solid. Did, I didn't, you know, didn't know it was that small. No, I didn't. Very interesting. So yeah. there you go. And, uh, Did you know that? Any more comments? No, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> no, it's good. Thanks for that. Finally, before we leave, we also have to say a few thank yous to mm. people who have been on our podcast. So first of all, big thank you to Tom <laughs> You laughing at my side casting? I'm laughing because I'm saying first of all a thank you because there's no more thank yous after this. Um, so yeah, so a big thank you to Tom Green for chatting to us um, for our phone a friend challenge. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, finally, thank you for listening. Absolutely, thank you guys. And get involved with our competitions and challenges. Keep an eye out for all of our stuff on Facebook and Twitter, and Brilliant. listen to our interview with Joe Boyd. Yes, on SoundCloud. Yeah. So that's it for this week. Thank you. Have a good week. Cutie music.